it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today's video is something I'm so excited about something I've wanted to do for a long time and that is starting my apps for creators series had this idea in mind for a few months to do a series of basically apps that help make life easier for me as a creator and things that just I wish other people had told me about and I hadn't had to kind of discover them on my own. So this first episode in the series and I believe I'm gonna do this in like three parts <laughs> spread out over like a couple of months but this first part is apps that help me organize and manage my time and I know that's something a lot of us struggle with and I used to use traditional like big Erin Condren planners and like do the whole thing and make it a huge ordeal and planning as a separate hobby just became too much to keep up with with YouTube so I started searching for solutions in the app store and solutions where I could do it digitally and edit as needed and move things around and um, it took a lot of trial and error but I have found some apps that are super helpful to me so I'm going to share them with you. I'm not sure if they're available on both Android and iPhone. I do have an Android so I know they are available on Android but I'm sure there are the equivalent or very similar things available on iPhone because the market is so saturated with apps and things like that. So. Before I jump into that, I do want to say this look is coming next week. If you are interested in this look, I will have it up next week. And yeah, I'm just going to scoot over so I can insert a screen recording and really show you in depth what these apps are like. Okay, so if you can see here, I keep my apps organized in folders. This is the folder I have for my planning apps. This is very minimal. As you can see, I only have four apps in here, but they've made such a difference for me, so we're going to go over them. The first one I'm going to go over is the middle one, free Feed Preview. This one is something you can find from so many different companies, so many wonderful free versions versions of this type of app where basically it shows you your entire Instagram feed and then you can build on there to really see what it could look like and really have a visual plan for your content. So I'm just adding some pictures so that you can see how easy it is to preview an ad. Of course there are ads. And then I'm just going to swap some around. You just hold and drag really easy. And then you can like delete. You can hold on. Select multiple and delete them all. It's really simple, really easy to use, but it makes such a difference when I'm trying to like visually plan out my content. And I really enjoy apps like this. Okay. The next app that I want to go over is Keep Notes. Um, it's really just like Google's Notes app version, but it's so, so helpful. Um, I have been using Keep Notes for a really long time because I've been an Android user for a really long time, but it, it really makes like putting captions together so helpful, putting lists together. Um, ideas like checklists it's it's such a helpful app and I really enjoy keep notes for like quick lists and like writing captions and all of that it's super helpful so that's just a really quick overview of that there's <laughs> I mean there's not a lot to know about a notes app pretty much everyone knows how to use a notes app and then the third app I'm gonna go over is Google Calendar this you can keep track of not only your deadlines and 
your like daily schedule but you can keep track of reminders in there like um here I said I need to post about world narcolepsy I've already done that so I'm just gonna mark it as done and yeah so I don't fill my schedule a lot on Google Calendar, but it's so helpful, especially if you're doing like Zoom meetings and stuff like that, it'll send you a reminder. Um, so for important deadlines and reminders, I really like Google Calendar. The final and the most important app that I have found in organizing my life as a creator is Monday, right here. So Monday is a project management app and it is free if you are an individual. If you are the only person using the app and working on the projects, it is 100% free. You only have to pay for it if you're going to work with a team or with collaborators on the app, which is something that you can totally do if you want to. But if you want to keep it free and you're just like a solo creator like I am, like this is such a great option. So they have what is called workspaces. So I'll just create one here for you and then I'll show you what mine look like. So um, let's see, let's go with single project, choose this template. So it is creating the template right now. And basically it starts with like planning, execution, launch and all that and timeline costs so it's it's customizable to whatever metrics and however you want to organize it so you can see this one is more tailored to like a brand launching a product whereas mine is much more tailored to me this is my social media schedule workbook and I have the title of what it is I'm going to publish, the channel on which I'm publishing it, the status of it, whether it's published, working on it, or stuck, or needs review, or whatever, the publishing date, hashtag so I can find it easier, and then whether I captured it, so took a photo or a video, I edited it, and I posted it. So that is how I like to organize my workbook for my posts, videos, TikToks, all of that. This is where I keep track of all of that and I have it planned so that I have content up to four weeks out and then I also have an idea pool underneath that for things that I want to make in the future. So giving you guys a little sneak peek of what is coming up if you understand like my abbreviations and stuff but yeah it's it's so helpful um and then I also have a second workbook for products now I do get a lot of products sent to me for an app called Billow which I will touch on in a later episode in this series but it basically the brands send it to me with an obligation to create a short video on the product so I have deadlines on those as well as there are some X deals that I do where the brand sends me um, a product in exchange for an Instagram post whatever so I do like to keep track of all of those separate from my social media schedule so this is the product schedule and it just shows the status where it's from like billow octoly instagram um the published date hashtags and whether i captured tested the product where i posted it so i i could customize these even more let me just show you so we'll go into to the template and add a column so you could add like um a voting thing for like teams or like the status like I had or you could estimate like the hours that you're working on something and the cost of something with the numbers um 
You could add a sub item to it, a checkbox, a link, um, a location. Like there's so many things you can customize and add on to your chart to keep track of. Like you can even have a progress tracker so that you keep track of the percentage of how much something is done. So you can really see how far into something you are. And then if you wanna um, edit the name of something, you just say name, I, I can't spell. Um, and if you wanna uh, delete it, there's the delete button or you can archive it, which basically means it's like done and out of the way but it's still like in your history if you want that in your history. So there, we archived that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much a basic overview of Monday and how I use it. Like I said, it is the most helpful app for me as far as planning my time as a creator and keeping track of deadlines and all of that. Um, I have tried several other project management apps that claim to be free and one, a lot of them are really not user friendly, like they're really hard to figure out, whereas I find this one is so like straightforward and easy to figure out what's what and how to set it up how you want it, and two, like they're not really that free. Like there's always ads popping up or they're always popping up with get the pro version or you're about to expire, you know? Um, so <laughs> anyway, that's all of the apps that I use to organize and manage my time as a creator. I hope that was helpful to you. And if you have any favorite apps, especially if you are an iPhone user and not an Android user, let us know in the comments down below so that we can all learn and help each other. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you've not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.